Hey friends, welcome back to Axial GT. Today's going to be a short video because I'm working on a few other projects, but I did want to provide an update to something I've covered in the past. So Ubisoft Skull and Bones. Anyone remember that game? I wouldn't blame you if you don't. It was first announced in 2017 and has since been repeatedly delayed. With the last thing we heard about the game was an investor call in 2019 saying Skull and Bones would be delayed again until fiscal year 2021. And that begins in April of the same year. I had reported on the game months ago five months ago to be exact. In that video I outlined most of the trademarks for the game had expired or had been abandoned. And I did a follow up in collaboration with Upper Echelon Gamers and highlighted the Skull and Bones TV show. And by that time I had found all the trademarks had expired. A topic that mainstream journals have yet to talk about. Can't have a game or a TV show without its trademarks. GameSpot, IGN, Rock Paper Shotgun, none of them have spoken a word about this. Kind of shows how deep they dive into their investigations, but I digress. So on Sunday, July 12th of 2020, Ubisoft had its Ubisoft Forward event outlining its games it had in development. They highlighted Watchdog Legion, Rahala, Might and Magic Era of Chaos, Tom Clancy's Elite Squad, Hyperscape, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Far Cry 6. But there was a few games that were conspicuously missing, like Beyond Good and Evil 2, and Gods and Monsters, of which I did a video about a week or so ago, that I'll link at the end of the video, and a card at the top of the screen. But what of Skull and Bones? Well, there was a recent announcement that confirms that Skull and Bones is being rebooted to a live service game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But this gets better. In my original video, I brought up that Skull and Bones looked a lot like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, almost a copy and paste. Whether it still is the case or not, we don't know. But as been written in these articles, Ubisoft stated that Skull and Bones failed to cultivate its own concrete identity and was completely rebooted last year in order to distinguish itself from the likes of Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs. And they also went on to say the game has largely pivoted to more of a live service model meaning that procedural stories will be generated based on how the community interacts with the game. Now here's the kicker. Sources pointed to Fortnite as the game that served as inspiration for Skull and Bones' new direction, meaning it'll also be a more casual game. And that's nice. Inspiration from Fortnite. I guess that doesn't bode well. But I guess we'll see. I do wonder if that means it'll be a free-to-play game as well. It does bring up an interesting question though. Will it keep the Skull and Bones name? In my Gods and Monsters video, I brought up that Gods and Monsters isn't called Gods and Monsters anymore, and that is confirmed by Ubisoft. But Ubisoft still owns the trademarks for the Gods and Monsters IP. And with Skull and Bones, every trademark is either expired or abandoned. So will they keep its name, or is it do a name change as well? It's food for thought. Oh, and I guess if you're looking for an abandoned Skull and Bones trademark, there's obviously a few available, if you have the money. Now don't get me wrong, I did actually think about trying to file and get these trademarks, but me being a small channel, I didn't have the six to $1,200 it would take to do it, and it would only be just to be funny anyway. But with this change in direction, I really wouldn't expect this game anytime soon. While the investor call last year did state that fiscal year 2021 is when we might see Skull and Bones, I think this take means it will be a little bit further down the road than that. Just my own personal opinion. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative, consider giving it a like and subscribe for more Axial GT content. I appreciate you watching. Until next time, I'm out of here. You all have a good one.